I just knocked this thing over. I feel bad. I better pick it up. I don't think anybody had ever noticed that you knocked it over. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Hey y'all, me and Honest Tim got to this sale about three minutes before it was supposed to start and apparently it had started much sooner but it's not the posted time and the address on the art sale treasure map wasn't right so we got there a little bit later than we wanted to but we still found some great stuff. I passed up on all kinds of stuff that I'm, I'm not regretting that I passed up but you guys are going to have to check it out. I was there for 45 minutes sweating and uh, it was pretty rough but we got through it and we found some great stuff for some great deals and you have to wait around to the very end to see exactly what it is I bought and what I didn't buy and how much money we're going to make on it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. This is a little... Uh, Scary. I know. That's what the GPS took me to but I was expecting it's, it's some folks. Now it's not Fenway versus Dundee so... That's not going to do a man. Let's just take a peek here. Let me try. I'm putting my map here. So it's just it's a little off but nope i'm in a different spot i mean I'm just saying eight minutes away I typed it into my map it says eight minutes I'm far away. You then. all right we're good with a go uh -huh. at least we survived it's, it's not supposed to open till two but you know oh well hey you never know you're you're a great picker man you're gonna find good, something man. anyways i know you is it inside too or is it just outside yeah, inside, yes, okay. Yeah, inside. I think I'm gonna go in there. I'm trying to go that way. <laughs> Come on through. Commonwealth Pepper. Hey man, how, how are you? Doing? I'll come check you out in a little bit. Let me. I got my hands full, yeah, you know. <laughs> Is there anywhere I can put anything? Are you okay? If that's what you think. I'll uh and what how how the prices work? Uh once you find all the one I'll just give you a price. Give you a price on it, okay. How you doing? What's all your right? name? Oh uh, name's Kyle Dooley. Kyle, okay. I work at Southern States in Bedford. Okay. I watch your awesome. YouTube channels. Well thank you. That is awesome. I told my wife we'd run into you sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You coming out? You're no, still in I'm here. Just okay. Oh, not yet. Yeah. There's bound to be something you can find in this place, right? I can find a lot of low-dollar stuff by the bushel full, but Gator okay, Classics. What you got in there? Yarn. White uses it. I don't see if I can get. Well, that's here. a heavy domino set. Yeah. I would love. I don't want to get in on your stuff right there, but. As soon as there's, I get this other tote, you come over here and look a, at those there's, games. There's one game I won. I already see it. Which one? It's the Bargain Hunter. Oh, okay. That Bargain Hunter back there. Used to play that with my grandmother. Really? Pick up something for you <laughs> at a yard sale today. For me, I told huh? my wife I was going to give it to you if I ever saw you, but I'll check <laughs> well, sometime uh, when you come into town. Hey. It was an old game. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're not much money, but... Uh, I just knocked this thing over. I feel bad. I better pick it up. I don't think anybody had ever noticed that you knocked it. <laughs> I suppose you're right. That's a nice tape measure. That's a nice one. You coming out? Yeah, I'll take you there. Right, let me get out of here. There you go. You go. A cassette case right there, Tim. Huh? That black case. Is that cassettes in there? No, I don't know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Those closed cases, you know, they always get me. They're eight tracks. You want this? Give me one minute. These aren't going to be great ones on the floor, but I'll get it anyway. You just never know. I'm a little claustrophobic. There's nothing priced. So you just go and pile it up and they give you one. Which I don't like, but you know it's usually cheaper that way. Perfume in here. Huh. 
Nice little toilet seat on top. Anything in here looking for? I don't see anything worth looking for in here, y'all. I took this thing off for so I could breathe. Sorry. I, yeah, I hear you. I, I put a bunch of things back once I got to get there. Oh, well, that's not like encouraging. I a dollar a piece. Four for a dollar, you're lucky. Whoop. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. So, how much did you say? Is Book? worth books they wanted? What? Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of here and let y'all in if you like. Okay, okay. I'll give you a little bit more room, anyways. All right, I think. Huh? Oh, what's your pile? Right here. Oh, all right. I'll protect it for you there. If I see anybody, you know, unless it's really good stuff, and then I'm gonna grab it. Oh boy. Yo. I might have to turn this thing off and go get a drink. Uh, nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Hot diggity dog, that's hot. Tim, you pull these things out. You didn't pull these out, did you? Which side you been on? Both of them? I ain't been on the other. Yeah. That's an old nerf right there. Look at that thing. Yeah. My wife's gonna love this for outside the chicken coop, I think. Spinner, look at that thing. Hmm. That's pretty awful. I'll grab it. Oh, there's a real scrabble. Oh my goodness, you're in the shed. Yeah, it seems like I spend a lot of time in the shit. It is. Like Check that out. Have you asked prices yet on anything? I have not. Yeah. I don't know out here. They might be a little better for you. It is pretty steamy. Pea rubber made. Pea rubber made. It's not. Let me sell. No lid to that. I probably shouldn't buy it. No. 1986 Mirage Studios. No top. Maybe I'll find it. Folks, they ask about Honest Tim all the time. Yeah, they will. Oh, electronic battles. Look at those, man. Those yeah, are good. Bad. Old Tim, man, a master picker. Whiz kid. I don't know if I get enough that, but... Yeah. Well, if you don't want it, you know where to put it, brother. <laughs> right here. <laughs> good stuff. Ooh. That's preferred stock. That's kind of cool. There we go. Oh, the shape is that in? Not too bad. But no rust. That might be $100. Oh, look at this. Early white. Gentle blue soap on a rope. Somerset. You just never know this stuff. That's soap. I don't know if I want that. But this stuff might be okay. You never know. Big old set of them, too. Oh, that's a nice right there. What do you got? No, this? The chair right there. This chair? I don't think it's a chair. I don't know. It's like an end table, I think. Here, it's all yours. Let me grab this and get the heck out of here before I sweat to death. Those are good books. Are they in good condition? They are not. Unbelievable. Well, they're not. There you go. Donald Duck. There we go. Grab some of 
one of these. Alright, so we got some Tyco clips on this, but rough condition. And I don't see any cars. They do have the controllers though. I'll we'll pull it to the side for now. Not really. Not too much? Here we go. Yeah, that's a nice one to steal with the tags. Decon? Anybody see decon? Yeah, that's not what that is. Those are old fashioned. My wife would love these. She would absolutely love these. I think I'll get them for her. Come on, Matt. Where's your magic? Where's your decon magic? Oh, look at this. Alf. Alf. Full of nails or something. What do you think? You think these need a new home? Little metal ones? I think they do. When you see a box that says video games basement and then they cross out video, it disappoints. Goofy. It's a little Disney World. Alright. That thing needs cleaned up. But I might grab it. Dr. Hook. A little bit more. Pickwick, Elvis, John Williams, Kenny Rogers. Yeah. Is this the right price? At? Fleetwood Mac. <sighs> Bubble bath. That'd be so good. The, that one might because it's a car. But not particularly great, no. You want to price me out? I doubt it, but let's go. <laughs> My boy needs my car, so I better hurry up. And and the bins, because I don't want to take it. And the bins. <laughs> and the bins. Well, they're worth more than any of them. You know that. At least a rental of the bins, so I can take them to my car and I'll bring them back. Ain't, ain't got much for loans. You've been shopping. Well, I put a lot of it back. I thought twice about some of it. You know what you got. I got some good stuff, but this. You got some good stuff. I'm worth a lot of money. Well, I'm Online. about that. I know. I'm thinking. About 30. Yeah. You'll There's a little money. bit of work in it, but. You'll make money. Yeah, I definitely will. I, hope, I, I earned want it, you brother. To make money. I earned it. I want you to make money because I won't sell to you again. <laughs> I'll probably be back. All right. There's 20. I think I have a 10. Taking my Saturday money, boy. Right. This right here. Mm -hmm. My bad. Yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, I think I'll pass on it for that, but I appreciate it. How about just this then. Give me a couple bucks for it. Put this back in there. Thank you. Bondo. There you go. Thank you so much. Huh? Find anything in here? No, I'm not the big thing. Adamant Beal. Adamant Beal? Yeah, the brand new seal, huh? Yeah. They're a little bit more pricey in here, I'm afraid. I got it. I gotta check that uh, DVD VCR combo back there. You're fine. You're fine. I'll sneak around you here. DVD VCR. For. Look at this guy here. I'm getting that. That's from Caddyshack. Thank you, man. Good luck. I know you'll pull something great out of here. Uh, <laughs> you got on these here. Oh, oh, he's going to get his tape cut I think so. For $10. I think I'll do 10 yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you. It's eight tracks in here. Okay. Hey, he's a good guy, Tim Ball. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here you go, man. Appreciate go get a lemonade. I need it. All right, y'all, we're going to run through this stuff really quick. Whenever I do this, I seem to talk way, way too long. 
So if you want to check this out in the future, see what we got for this stuff, go to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and we'll be selling it over there. Unless, of course, we're going to put it in our antique booths, which a lot of this, well, some of this stuff we'll put in the antique booths for sure. I'm going to put this camera right here. We're going to walk around and I'm going to give you some educated guesses on what we think, what I think we're going to get for some of this stuff. Let's go. All right, like I said, I tend to talk too long, so I'm going to hit the high points and then go really quick and speculate a little bit, but I'm going to come right here first because these two will pay for everything. I think I should probably go back and look, but I'm going to say 52 bucks is what we paid. Unfortunately, this Michael Jackson Thriller has this cover, which is really a rare cover, but it doesn't demand as much as the other cover, and it's in pretty good condition. And this one with a different cover could be, you know, 25, 30 bucks. Unfortunately, it's going to be more like 15, I think. Madonna Like a Virgin. This one I looked up. Because when I saw this, I'm like, you know what? This one's got to be worth some money. And I haven't looked up any of these others. Most of these are worth nothing. Except for in my booth for a few bucks. You know, Fleetwood Mac is probably worth something. It's not in great shape. Huey Lewis is probably worth 20 bucks or so. 30 bucks. But this one... If it had a slip cover and was in better condition, has the pads here. See, it's missing those. And I could test it and it would be working. I mean, this could be an $80 eight track. I think it's probably like a $25, 20 yeah, probably $25 eight track in the condition it's in. Maybe 30 So with these two, maybe throw in Huey Lewis and we're in the profit. So these three should put us in the profit and we have all of this. You know, this is some just little stuff. This will go in the antique booths. There's a few cookie cutter molds that I knew my wife would like. And I grabbed them. Little Bo Peep plates. They're sellable on eBay, but I will probably won't fuss with them. Probably put them in a lot in the booths. These are cool. I've seen these before. I don't know that they sell on eBay, but my guess is clean them up. They're metal and they're stackable. They'll probably demand, you know, 15, 20 bucks or something on eBay. But I might just throw them in the booth for 10, 15. See what happens. These sell on eBay pretty well for Tupperware. These do, but I'm going to put them in the booth because they're not really worth the time. This is a nice little Disney sweater. It's a high quality sweater, sweatshirt, hooded, I think, and zipper. That's going to bring some good money, I think, in the fall. World Series hat, 95. It's new with tags, new old stock. It's got a little bit of trouble with it as far as dirt, but I think I can clean that off. It's not the uh, Sid Bremier 1995, so that's 92. Uh, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks probably, something like that. Scrabble games to go with my collections. I just stack them up. I separate them all. I sell the pieces off by like the thousands. And then the little, uh, all the other stuff I sell in lots. Put all the boards together, sell them to crafters. Rizzo, Bobblehead, Salem Red Sox. I don't know, probably 15 plus shipping, maybe 20. The Gopher. I, I tell you what, I bought this because... I. I hope it's not worth that much. My guess is it's worth, if it's working, and I got to test it, it's in pretty good shape. It's probably worth, what is it, uh, I'm All Right? Is that the song? I think, Kenny Loggins? I bet that thing sells at Christmas time. Maybe not right now, but at Christmas time, used working condition. It's probably a $30 plus shipping on that one. That's my guess. This one, I wish I had a remote, obviously. I didn't see one. Uh, I don't know, 30 40 bucks. Plus shipping on the uh, DVD VCR combo. This is awesome. I don't know what this will sell for. It'll sell in my antique booth for sure, so it doesn't really matter. I'll go look it up. Key or uh, lock and keys. You know, that's probably a $10 plus shipping lock right there because it's got the key. I'll sell the other ones in my booth. Th I haven't looked these up, but my guess is these are all worth $10 to $15 plus shipping, something like that on those. I sell a bunch of tapes in my antique booth. This guy here is probably worth more than you might think. Yellow tape, uh, 100 foot, and it's Tajima, and it's in great shape. I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but that might be a $50 tape measure. All full of 8-tracks. Not great 8-tracks, but they're in great condition, and there's four or five Elvis ones in there in good condition. We'll put in a lot and sell for pretty good money, and the rest will sell in the booth for two, three bucks a piece. They go fairly well for us. That's a nice old school red catcher's mask. I don't know. I would say at least 15 plus shipping, maybe 20 to 25 plus shipping. A little plush, either in the booth or who knows. This guy right here is brand new. New old stock, realistic switch. I'd say 25 bucks, easy. 
this dish right here. I can't remember the name of these. Somebody will tell me in the comments, but that's probably 10 plus shipping or put it in the booth for five. This I got from my wife. We're going to put this on the, uh, and Moragan, we'll put this on the chicken coop out there. And all of these are good money at Christmas time. I always buy the Bumbles, the uh, Rudolph stuff. They sell well. This might be, I might put all Looney Tunes together and get 25 bucks for it all. Uh, selling these separate or lotting them up. I mean, there's probably 50 to $75 profit in these ornaments right there, if you can believe that. So. Oh, and I have missed something. Some of you probably think I'm nuts. Now's not the time to sell this. I don't know when you're hearing this, but it is at the very end of July for me. I'm going to wait till next year. If you go back to the beginning of the summer, the prices on these, that exact one went for $91 plus shipping. And it needs a little cleaning. I'm going to pay my boy to do it. It'll take him probably half an hour. I pay him 10 bucks an hour, so it'll be 5 bucks. And next year, I bet you I get a minimum of 75 maybe as high as $110 plus shipping on that chase go go ahead and look i don't know when you're going to hear this so it might not be true when you look it up but look up chase lounge lawn chair vintage blue look up pink pink is an amazing color for those and they sell really well so you know it could be as much i mean you find one of these new in a box from the 80s or 90s it's a couple hundred bucks easy plus shipping so if you find these then they're not in too bad a shape they can be rusted obviously they're easy shippers, too. You just get the old number seven box, the box that the number seven box comes in and ship them out. So, all right, I'm sure I'm missing something here. And I did forget one because Turner thought it was his, <laughs> which I told him he could have it, but I don't think he really wanted an empty bubble bath Ninja Turtle bottle. <laughs> this will uh, probably go for around 10 plus shipping. Here, I don't know if I left anything in the car or what, but. I don't know, at least at least 10 times our money. Anyway, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.